we've got a brand new old phaser. Let's have a look. Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with another Star Trek unboxing review. This is the new phaser. They've literally just dropped this. Um, there is an, an Enterprise coming very soon. I'm going to try and do a comparison with the Playmates one that I got a while ago, but that's in the pipeline. This is the original series Playmates, although it does actually say um, Bandai, because I think UK get them under Bandai, but it's Playmates for the US, but it's the same sort of thing. But it's this is... I'm hoping it's not... Uh, it is a rehash of the old Playmates toys. If they're going to do even more than this, then they might have the Enterprise D, E, Bs and stuff. Anything and everything they might bring back into the fold. If this is exactly the same as the old one, it was very kind of bulky, but it is a toy. It's not a full-scale replica. If you want a replica of an original series phaser, look on eBay, look on Amazon. Good luck with that one. And try and look for the one company original series phaser. I've got a review on my channel somewhere. I'll try and put a link if I remember. And it's, it's so accurate to the actual phaser. So it's absolutely amazing. Lights up, separates, everything looks absolutely brilliant on it. I do think I have one of these in the loft somewhere, but let's get into opening this up. So we have the artwork on the front. There was talk about maybe there was going to do the original packaging are from the Playmates, but they have changed things because there's a nice new logo on here for the Star Trek universe, which just puts absolutely everything in one category, which is fine. So we have set phases to full and s full stun overload, and then in French, German, Italian, don't know. But this is a European version anyway. We have a little, looks like the trigger inside there. Go to the box art for you. I have not opened this. There is sellotape on these boxes. Why they're cutting the corner away, I don't know. There's a piece of tel tel tip on there, tape across here, and there was one over here, which I've managed to clean off virtually all of the, the sticky, I hate things I've got tape on. If you watch any Eagle Moss reviews, then you'll notice that I do clean off as much of the gunk as I possibly can. So we have full power switch. I don't think that'll be used. I don't think, oh, hang on. Phaser setting dial. Is it possibly used that as well? Light up emitter. The original one, I think, did just light up. I think it might have been a bulb on the front, but it just did one sound. I don't think that's going to detach, although it does look like a separate part. That might be interesting to see. Um, anybody out there want to scan that? It's a Q code. I've actually done this myself, but it's literally it's not a QR code. It's a it's a Q code, but it does go straight to the web page and does some nice little L cars, interesting interactive stuff. So other than that, 2020, China, Hong Kong, yep, okay, that's fine, we know where they come from. Now I'm going to try and be careful, as usual, because I do want to collect these, I don't want to rip these open. So that's there. I've got the funniest feeling, and this will open this way, but... Oh, I'm in luck. I was going to actually show you this, but I don't think there's a point. I might as well show you the phaser, and then use that as well. So I've got a funniest feeling that it was going to be open this side only, but luckily it's not, and it's upside down too, which is very strange. So in the box you've got nothing now, so let's get rid of that. So we turn the fade around, that's actually not bad. We have full instructions, a one-sided piece of A4, telling you how to put the batteries in, which are in there. So you'll undo the screw there to get two batteries out. This has already got batteries in. And I've noticed as well, this dial on the side, that wasn't, you'll see this in the Enterprise uh, review that I'm gonna do for, for the Playmates Bandai model. This doesn't work, that doesn't work. Some of the things differently work compared to it, but whether or not it's better than the original, I don't know. So let's get this out as carefully as I can. Since that is gonna drop on the, on the side. There we go. So plastic, yeah, nice little mould there. If you want to make a, a little bit of a nearly a one-sided phaser, just make something for a prop-related thing. Nope. Okay, fine. Suit yourself. So on the side here, looks like we have the off, the on, and the demo. Now, for some reason, it's. I don't think it's a push up. It's a. It's a trigger. That doesn't turn around. That's a nice solid piece of plastic. The screws like crazy because they are always screws like crazy with these Playmates models. That bit doesn't do anything. That does feel like it turns. 
that's a sticker, that's a sticker. So speakers there, so all this is integrated into one anyway. You, like I say, you could probably try and detach this, probably unscrew this, which will leave this in two halves, cut away wherever this black's attached to there, but I don't want to do that. So let's go through the, actually, that's, it is bulky. It is definitely a toy more than anything else. So this is still in the same position, the off one, but I think it might just be over under the demo. So we have the phaser sound. We have overload. We need to stop that before it blows up. Actually, no, let's carry on. It is quite quiet, but it's perfectly fine. Phaser. Ah, different phaser there, stun. It's quite random on what it does. That is quite stiff. Ah, we have a red light on the front. Actually, let's get you down. Why is it only doing that? Oh, the top bit lights up as well. Okay, I'm guessing that that switch is barely any click from on to off to demo. So in demo, yeah, you do, you can press, no you can't, it's, it's back only, so like that. So, can I get in the up position? Yes I can. It is literally a hair's breadth away from it. So I'm on the on. So I can't stop that doing that. All right, so where's the start? Ooh, that's gone blue. Oh, that's really good. That's gone red again. Okay, cool. Let me just turn the um, turn the lights off in here. This will really annoy anybody who's got an Echo Dot. Alexa, garage off. Thank you. Okay. So we have the light from the television in front. So it's nice and red. That's not bad lit. So that on the back there will turn three positions. So you've got a red, flashing red. So you're in destroy, blow up mode. Let's go through that one again. Just go a little bit quicker, I think, yes. I mean, I don't want the thing to blow up, that's good. So point to the blue setting. Nice, that's actually a lot better than the, the original one. And the solid red. Was that stun or that stun? No, oh, that's, that's phaser. That's actually not bad. I quite like that. Let's put that light on instead of annoying all your echoes. Right. So, yes, we've got... It's lacking on a... On a billion levels of detail. Yeah, there's there's lettering on there, which I suppose anybody would look at this and think, what can I do? Can I do something better? You'd sand down all of the letters, the printing, this silly bit where it says on off demo. And, and yeah, you, you could repaint this quite easily. Yeah, it's got your CE UK stuff on here for us for in the UK. Shame that doesn't roll around, but at least it's it's kind of there. The site doesn't come up, but it is a plastic nice little sidearm and lights up quite well as well so I'm, I'm quite happy with that to be honest I'm gonna put it on blue because I like the blue that part doesn't work to focus you will notice that on, on other phases if you do collect the phases that that part will pop in to come this part out but not on this Playmates version it's not bad for, for what you get with these and and they're probably they're rare. They're getting rarer phases because Diamond Select aren't doing them anymore, and the one company don't seem to bother doing them anymore. Just need more from from for the collectors. Little tiny bubble inside there. That's quite weird. Yeah. So yeah, I like that. Go in my collection. You could easily use that one as a. If you bought a few of them, you could use one for a Comic Con just to be there at the side arm for the look. Instead of using something like the One Company, because they're going for... I mean, I bought mine a, quite a while ago, and it was nice, it was fine, it was good, and it was cheap. Whereas the um, nowadays, people sell for five, six hundred pounds. <laughs> Bit of a... No, I wouldn't say rip-off, it's just the, the kind of a, a rarity. But, like a lot of 
Star Trek toys, people are definitely taking the proverbial on the prices of them nowadays. They're just not regulated because they're not making new. But now they are. So let's see what happens with Playmates. Yes, we've got, there are figures. I don't collect figures, so I'm not gonna be showing you those. I have the Enterprise already. In fact, quick peek. And that will be coming up pretty soon anyway. So this is probably gonna be the first video I'll do. But yeah, they, they, they see what they go with them. Let's see what Playmates can do. If they get a good reaction from us all and we all like these, they may do a better Enterprise D, B, A. I don't know. Anything would be possible for them. Let, let's see what they can do. This, is, this isn't exactly the same tooling as the original Playmates one. They have tweaked a lot and the electrics are a lot better, but still it's, it's a beefier version, but it's meant to be a kid's toy. So yeah, cool. Very cool indeed, and I like that a lot. So with that in mind, thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe, follow me on social media, send me a message down below. Consider being a Patreon, because I really do need your help for this. And, and the subscriber count on, on this channel is nice, steadily plodding up, but that's the problem. It, it's a plod, I'd like to be a bit more off and going, but yeah, okay, see what we can do. So that in mind, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.